Hello, I am Coach Juan, and we're bringing today's top soccer session online to you at home. Uh, with today's COVID-19 situation, uh, we want to make sure that we can still practice and exercise while at home, but doing it safely. Uh, so we're going to go over some safety parameters first. Make sure we have some health supervision uh, to help not only set up the field, but also supervise around it since we are working on a driveway and sidewalks. As you can see, first I did, I parked my car in the at the end of the driveway to make sure no vehicles can come in as we're practicing. Down here below, as you'll see, I have my uh, sunscreen. Uh, make sure we apply a lot of sunscreen just because it's cloudy does not mean anything. Uh, you still need to apply it. I have my water because we always have water breaks. And lastly, due to the COVID-19, I, I do have my mask in case others come around. When we're doing our exercises, once again, we are right here in the driveway. I want to make sure that when we're practicing on the, on the street, on the sidewalk, that we don't cross the other driveways. For today's session, you're going to need the simple sidewalk chalk. Uh, you can use any color you want. Uh, if you have cones, use cones. Uh, and then lastly, you can, you can see here, we have how the setup is going to be on the cones when we warm up back and forth. And we also work on a few sessions here with a modified hopscotch using the feet, which Caroline will demonstrate shortly. So go get the supervision, go get the equipment you need. Let's set the field up and let's get started. See you in a little bit. Thank you. Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the training session. As you remember, Caroline will be assisting us uh, going back and forth. Uh, so you can see we're starting off with a light jog and we're using our sidewalks to be careful not to cross the other driveway. Uh, so you just go back and forth just as such and we'll do it a period of four times. Uh, remember how important it is to stay uh, warm and warm up the muscles before we start doing any rigorous training because we can pull a muscle and injure ourselves. So make sure you do that. Do that a period of four times and then we'll get back to the second session. Thank you. All right, for the next session, we're going to do a light skip. Uh, so go ahead and commence that. It's just a light skip going back and forth, uh, exercising different parts of our muscles, going back and forth and getting warmed up. So once again, don't cross the other driveway. So we'll head a nice skip there and then skip coming back. Uh, continue it on. And for the second session, we we'll continue on. However, I want a high skip. Make sure the knees come up. Try to point your toes down and skip all the way up just as such and raise those knees. Remember what we've done in practice. Knees up. Get the knees up. Get the knees up. Perfect. Just like that. Great. Outstanding. Now we start for the second session. And next we're going to do is our bunny hops. So go ahead and make sure that your knees are together, that your feet are together, and just hop back and forth just as such. Uh, try to extend your hop as much as possible. However, this time we will not do the full length of the uh, sidewalk. We'll only go about half the distance. And we'll do that three to four times. So go back go there and do it again, just as such. Great. Uh, and if you want to challenge yourself, see if you can hop a little further on each one, especially on the last one. There you go. That's a great hop. Uh, use your arms to help you swing back and forth. Great. All right, for the next session here, we're going to switch to the cones or the lines if you don't have uh, cones, as we talked about earlier. Uh, one line signifies one cone. So remember, keeping your feet together and your knees together, we're going to hop over the cone and do that a period of 10 times. So go ahead and begin. You got the one, two, and then just like that, just keep hopping back and forth, uh, working nice and easy. Great. Okay, now once you complete your 10 sessions going side to side, let's go forward. Remember, keep your knees together and feet your feet together. We're hopping back and forth for a period of 10 times. Uh, once again, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, try not stepping on the cone. All right, great. Now we need to challenge ourselves a little more and extend the cones, either putting two cones or the two lines, starting side by side. So go ahead and begin that going side to side over both. Uh, doing that 10 times, remember keeping your feet together and knees together, a period of 10 times. If you need help, 
Uh, with the cones, make just have someone hold your hands as you're hopping back and forth. Great, just like that. All right, once you finish the side by side, we got to do what we've been doing. It's going front to back. So once again, start your hopping front to back over both cones. Uh, keep your knees together, keep your feet together. And we're going back and forth just like that. Great. Keep it up at 10 times and then we'll expand it to the next one. So now we've expanded it to three cones and we're going side by side. Go ahead and begin. Remember, it's been a little more challenging now, as you can see. So you have to focus some more. Uh, remember to try to keep your feet together and try to keep your knees together. If not, that's quite all right. The key thing is to work it back and forth. Perfect. Okay, we've already completed our going side by side with the three. So now we're going to go forward. But remember in the past, we don't go back. We just really go forward. So go ahead and hop forward. You turn around and you do it again going forward. I only want you to go in a forward motion with three cones and beyond. Because uh, I don't want anyone falling backwards. So you do that period of ten times. And then we'll begin with the fourth cone. Getting you know, a little more challenging because we're on the four cones here or the four lines. So here we're going to try to go hop side by side. And it is a little challenging. The other thing you can do, if, uh, if this is too difficult, you go side with one foot. There you go, just like that. And then go side to side. But try to balance and stay on the one foot. That helps not only strengthen the feet and the knees, but also works on your balance. So we'll do that a period of 10 times. All right, great, great job. So now we're going to go forward. Remember, we don't go backwards on these. So just hop 10 times going forward just as such. You turn around and you hop back. Just like that. Perfect. Remember to keep your feet together and your knees together. All right, and for the last session for the day, is just trying to hop forward. So we're going to hop. Or we're going to leap one or the other, whichever is easier for you. If you can hop, great, just like that. The whole thing is that we're focusing on strengthening the knees and working on our balance. So just like that, 10 times on which either uh, technique you can work on. Great. Uh, hopefully that was a nice and challenging and stretching those knees and legs. Uh, so the next session now for today will be the dribbling session. So make sure you get your soccer ball, whether it's a five, a four, or a three. Um, have some water, uh, and then we'll get back to the dribbling session on a nice patch of grass in your front yard. See you in a little bit.